Hello, this is Sandra Brown of Happiness Past 60. Today, we're gonna make a Dutch meatloaf. Actually, this recipe came from an old cookbook from a church I used to go to many years ago. Uh, I had to look back and see who it originally belonged to. I've had it so long, I kind of <laughs> claim it as mine, I suppose. But uh, it has green pepper in it. And this just happens to be what I had left. There's no exact measurements, so you can put as much or as little as you want as far as green peppers go. I don't pre-cook them. Uh, take all the seeds out and all the white membrane before you start using it. And ladies, if you don't have a knife sharpener, make sure you get one because it just makes everything much easier. I didn't do it just now, but usually I'll try to sharpen my knives every time before I start cooking. That way they're always ready to go when you need them. And then I'm going to chop up some onion, maybe about a medium onion. And I have the oven preheated to 350 degrees and the scallops are all out. So we're ready for that. And I'm gonna dump this into a big bowl and be right back with you. Okay, and this is the onion I'm gonna use. It's, I cut them in half like this. Slice them this way. And turn it around, go this way. Still have to do some chopping after this, I'm sure, but this gives you a good start. Okay, the onion's all chopped, and it's gonna go in the bowl with the green peppers. I use a lot of onions and green peppers when I'm cooking, just uh, always like to keep them on hand. I had a 2.71 pound package of ground chuck. Uh, it seemed like it was too much for Mr. Bill and I because we're gonna be going out of town. And uh, they had maybe about this much left and I'll just freeze that and just use this. I added two eggs to this mixture. The eggs is what binds it together. So your meatloaf doesn't fall apart when you slice it. Um, I have saltine crackers. This is what I use. And um, <laughs> the easiest way to crunch them up is to put them in a bag, push the air out. You're gonna laugh at this, but I put them on the floor and step on them. <laughs> okay. Perfectly okay, they're in a plastic bag and it works great. Okay, they're all crunched up. Uh, you can do it by hand if you want to. Use it maybe even a mallet or a, a plate, whatever. And then we'll just dump these in with the rest of the ingredients. To this, Add some salt to taste, however much you want. Don't forget there is salt on the saltines too. And fresh ground pepper, or any pepper. I'm just happy to have fresh ground all the time. And I'm I'm going to use a little bit of Mrs. Dash. There's no salt in there. This has a lot of different, a lot of different ingredients. A little bit of that in there. Uh, the next ingredient, which makes this a Dutch meatloaf, is uh, my, uh, cheddar cheese. This one happens to be mild. It can be sharp. Uh, I don't measure it. And also this cheese. 
Not only makes it taste better, but it helps to bind the smooth look together. I kind of push it together a little bit in the bowl before I put it in the pan. I was thinking I was going to put more meat in here, so I've got a whole lot of onions and green peppers. But it's going to be all the better. And I usually squish it down this way. And at the last, let's see, hold on. I use one of these scrapers. Push it here, push it. It picks up the last onions and green peppers and gets it more in a nice square and flat. All right, now I actually frost it with ketchup. So you'll be squirting quite a bit of this on top. Let me get something to smooth that around. Be a big spoon. Move it around on the top and down the slides, sides like you were frosting a cake. And when this bakes in the oven, it just gives it a beautiful glaze. Makes the prettiest meatloaf. Plus, of course, <laughs> ketchup is wonderful on a meatloaf. Okay, I'm gonna pop this in the oven, 350. And, um, oh gosh, I'll try to time it and tell you how long it was. Here it is, folks. Um, I had a few potatoes left, and as I said, we're going to be gone, and I want to get, not leave anything here. And I had a can of peas, open that, and buttered them. And here's the meatloaf. So, hope you try it, and I think you're going to like it. Bye-bye now.